everybody. I hope everyone's had a wonderful day. This is Preacher Lady on Wheels tuning in. And um, I just wanted to say hello to everybody. It's so wonderful to be back online with y'all. Um, I had been sick for a little while, but I'm feeling much better. Thank the Lord above. Um, I just want to say that God is so wonderful and amazing. He's a wonderful God. Um, also, I want to um, let everyone know I had posted earlier online that um, a lot of people has been asking me about a YouTube channel. And um, they've requested me to put my preaching videos on YouTube. So um, I went ahead and shared that link with y'all. And I will also share that link with y'all on this video below in the comment section below. So um, thank you all for the people that's liking my videos, sharing my videos, commenting on my videos. Uh, y'all have been a real encouragement to me. Uh, thank you for your kind words. I really do truly appreciate that to all my friends, my family, the people I know, and also the people that I do not know. Thank you all for supporting the Word of God. Um, you are amazing people, and I thank God for you all. Um, we are all in this together. We are all fighting and um, doing our best each and every day to serve God and do what He would have us to do. Um, I want to mention this. Um, the gifts and the callings are without repentance. When you are called into something or you have a gift um, from God, you cannot repent of it. You have to obey the gifts and the calling. You can't say, sorry, God, I'm not going to do that. You can't repent of it. Uh, but you have to, uh, you know, obey the gifts and the callings of God because they are without repentance. You cannot repent of them. So, um, let's be faithful to God and reach out to God and obey the gift and the calling that God has placed in each and every one of our lives. Uh, there is something for all of us to do. No matter how big or small you think you are, how much you think that you matter, always remember, always remember that you matter in God's eyes. You are special in God's eyes. You are an amazing person in God's eyes. He loves you. He loves everybody. And, you know, he, um, he died on the cross for us, for our sins. That way we could have salvation. And um, I'm just so glad that, you know, he is a loving God and merciful and forgiving God. And, you know, that means a lot to me. But um, just remember this. Um, like, <clears throat> get the sin out of your life. You cannot fulfill your spiritual walk with God. You cannot obey the gifts and the callings properly with sin in your life. And especially when you know that the sin's in your life because you will have that uh, condemnation in your life. You will have that um, guilt trip in your life. And you don't never want to feel guilty before God. You don't never want to feel like, hey, I can't worship in the Spirit because I have this certain thing that's standing between me and God. You don't want to say, hey, I can't go to church because I have this certain sin in my life. I can't do this for God because this sin is holding me back and weighing me down. Let me show you something. If you have a bottle of water and you're holding it all day long, well, you say, well, that's easy. That's easy to hold. That's just a bottle of water. But if you sit there and you hold this bottle of water and eventually it's going to become heavy because your arm is going to get tired. The weight didn't change. The bottle of water is still light and easy to hold. But let me tell you, when you hold on to sin, and you carry it around it becomes a burden it becomes a heavy weight and the Bible said to lay every sin and every weight aside don't go back and pick up your sin don't go back and pick up the thing that's weighing you down today but just set it aside and don't go back to it hallelujah <coughs> y'all have to excuse me I'm still um got this cold a little bit this old cough don't want to go but in the name of Jesus God's gonna help me and God has already helped me so much hallelujah but I want to tell you today don't let the sin hold you back 
from serving God. Set it aside and don't go back and pick it up. Set it aside and don't even think about it no more. Because I'm going to tell you, the Bible says when you know good and you do evil, it is a sin unto you. So when you know something's wrong, we have to set it aside and we can't be doing it no more. You know, when you are serving God with all your heart, your mind, and your soul, and you know something's a sin and you quit doing it. Every sin that you know, you do quit doing it. it I'm not saying that you can't make a mistake, but I'm saying that if you know something's a sin, then you have to get it out of your life. That way you can worship honestly. That way you can pray honestly. That way you can praise God and you don't have that condemnation. You don't have that stumbling block in front of you. You don't have that guilty conscience in your mind of saying, well, God may not love me because I've done this or that. That's what the devil tries to put in your mind. Now, I'm going to tell you, God is not pleased with your sin. He's not pleased with anybody's sin. That's why we have to get the sin out of our life. You can't go around pleasing your flesh. You cannot go around pleasing yourself because the sin is sin and God hates sin. Uh, sin is an abomination to God. And when we learn that something's a sin, let's get it out of our lives. That way we can fully love God, trust in God, serve God, worship God. I don't want no stumbling block in front of me. I don't want no step with, uh, no, um, nothing between me and God. Whenever me and God connect, I want us to be connected. I don't want nothing in between us keeping me from holding on to his nail-scarred hands. Hallelujah. I want to love him and praise him with everything in me. I don't want no guilty conscience in, before God. But I want a clear conscience. I want a honest conscience. I want my conscience to be true to God and to know that I'm doing everything that I can in my power to serve Him honestly. But I just wanted to get on here and, you know, thank you all for being so supportive. I know it's been a little while and um, since I've been on here, but um, like I said, hello everybody. God bless you all. I love you all. I'm praying for all of y'all and I look forward to doing more uh, videos, Preacher Lady on Wheel videos, Liver Room videos, uh, church videos, ministering videos at different churches. Um, I look forward to um, the YouTube channel. Um, that I will be posting my videos on as well for everyone. You know, it's not about me. It's not about fortune. It's not about fame. It's not about money. Hey, I'm telling you, I'm human. I'm flesh and blood. I get up and I go to work just like anybody else does just to survive. You know, it takes two people nowadays uh, in a household to work to survive because the cost of living is so expensive. And you know, um, we just got to do what we can, but most of all, you know, this old world's going to pass away, but you know what? One day, one glorious day, you know, we're going to have a heavenly home. We're going to have a, an eternal home. No more tears, no more pain, no more sorrow. It's going to be all joy, happiness, peace. It's going to be so wonderful once we get up there to heaven. Hallelujah. It's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it all. But, um... Like I said, um, thank you all, and God bless you all, and um, until next time, just remember, keep God number one in your life, and just do everything in your power, please, to serve God with everything in you. I love you all. God loves you. Keep God number one in your life, and you're going to be all right. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.